No customers yet. Second part of the meeting. Now we're going to check on a video about focus groups. My name is Amy. Sorry about these two questions. Now, I spent a little day. What did you guys do to treat yourselves? Have a simple day. I like to get close to the doctor. I use the car caffeine, whether it's a coffee or coffee. Very good. We usually buy coffee at least once a day. Very nice. And usually buy smoothies or make them myself. I'm 
I would say one in the morning. I do coffee and tea. Uh, but when I drink coffee, it's good. Just the reverse, if I can have people like coffee and more occasions here, and everything I should say. Yeah, that's all that makes sense. I'll think about it. 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 i Now, how many of you have some kind of childhood association called the smell, taste, and most of that nature? Anything like that? Oh, yes. My mom would actually make them in the breakfast. And um, she would usually have like the boulders or like the, the dirt kind. Dumping on that spread, actually. So boulders and dumping on that spread. Yeah, Yeah, my parents drink Folgers. I don't really like the smell. Uh, you know, I've been smelling it for many years, but I actually don't like the taste. I still prefer to buy coffee from usually Starbucks, sometimes Dunkin' Donuts. Okay. Yeah, for me, um, when I went to school, my mom was already downstairs and she was like eating breakfast with her coffee already done. And it was this cafe. And so, yeah, it was just looking at her drinking coffee. Is it instant coffee? Yeah, it's not even real coffee. It's not even real. My mom would drink it like throughout the whole day. Like, she would always in the morning, in the afternoon, at night. And I started drinking coffee when I was really young because but she would put like a little bit in like a lot of milk, like literally when I was like five. <laughs> um, like it was barely coffee, like it seemed like well, she just did it because like I wanted to be her. <laughs> um, I think my memories are of like my dad, he had like the coffee beans and he would grab them every morning and then on Sunday he would like we go to church and everything like that, so you don't like have a glass ready for us, and we don't go to church. So it's like my okay, making it. Um, I remember my grandma's. My grandma, my great grandma used to watch me when I was younger. She would always make coffee in the morning. She would let me take a sip of it. She would always drink like straight black coffee and drink both straight full. So it kind of like got me started. And then me and my grandma used to start an instant coffee for me when I was like in eighth grade. So. Um, in Europe, we have some Turkish coffee, and um, Turkish coffee, yeah, it's much stronger than Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> and my parents would bring that every morning, so that's how I figure coffee would be good. And um, yeah, but uh, I tried Starbucks here first in the United States, and then I found them wrong with it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you have any distinct memories of it, I just remember my dad was it almost every morning, so when I was little, I would wake up. And I didn't really like it when I was younger. <coughs> but then once I got to be in college, I would be so great. And it was just, I didn't know what to do. Yeah, I just remember my mom making in the morning. I don't know if it takes a bit, but I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do in the morning, but it's like this in a little bit. I'm sorry, I'm late. I don't know what to do.
not doing it, but for some reason, I mostly buy it. And I still do have a coffee in here. It's more to me. If you like, usually buy it from a coffee shop, where do you buy it? Starbucks. Because Dunkin' Donuts is not cooking it. Dunkin' Donuts doesn't compare to like Starbucks. It's not strong enough. Mm. One thing I like better, I agree with the taste. It's way, oh yeah, Dunkin' Donuts and coffee definitely taste cheaper than Starbucks. Like, I care a lot about the taste. One thing I like about Dunkin' though, they use foam cups. So that coffee stays hot like 10 times longer. Yeah, yeah. Because Starbucks doesn't want to use foam cups because it's not good for the environment. Mm -hmm. So, but that being said, I definitely prefer buying coffee. Starbucks is definitely my first choice uh, for taste. Okay, so the foam cups when it comes to the tractor to your preference? Uh, yeah, I definitely do dunk it sometimes. Uh, more based off, um, you know, just one close to my house than the foam cups. The foam is just something I like about dunking. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, for me, I also prefer an at home where I think it tastes more welcoming, I guess. <laughs> Since I made it, you know, and initially I do it with, um, I blend it. Is it coffee? No, no, no. Like I have a machine for oh. the for family things. So yeah, I prefer it at home. I always buy it, but like now I'm thinking about like my daddy's thinking of my mom. I'm like, oh my god, I miss that. But I never like I always buy it. But one thing is that like I sometimes have to pick up a zip car for work and like if I'm driving somewhere far like I need to go through a Starbucks drive through like <coughs> more like I have to. But not um and I hate like having to walk it, like I need to go through a drive through. Start yeah. <laughs> always so I'll drive like a mile from it <laughs> to go through a drive through. Um I usually make it at home because I'm a poor college student, so like treating myself is going to start off like, oh, I got paid today. <laughs> but yeah, I usually make it at home. I would definitely have my car to buy it from Starbucks every day of my life, but we just got like a cure so we like um, pickups, Starbucks pickups, and I also do my job, so it's at home recently. <laughs> I have a um, coffee maker at home and I have a uh, Starbucks, but I, it's, it just doesn't taste the same, so I'm not sure to buy. Normally I would buy coffee too, but I'm not at home, like, with family or like, uh, whatever, just to get in the coffee that we have. I don't really want to spend money all the time, so we put it on the side and just leave it. I mean, I definitely prefer to buy it. I feel like when I make it at home, it's just like too strong or something seems off, and I'm like jittery all day. Whereas, like, Starbucks, I'm like, ready to mount. So you're ready to what? The ready to mount. Ready to mount? Yeah. It's because it's consistent. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's not fine. I can buy it in the first place. I can see I'm lying in Starbucks and not waiting. I'll go to somewhere else and she'll be like, it's today. But I'm getting sore at Starbucks, so I kind of think, like, it's weird people tell me they like the taste because they're like, if you get, like, a dark roast, it's not dark because of where the beans came from. It's dark because they burned it. And it's also been sitting on the shelf in the warehouse for about eight months. So it's not fresh either. <laughs> Just so you guys know. All right. <laughs> Um, I don't know, I, I buy coffee from Starbucks maybe three times a week. I was looking at my statement the other day. As far as the, I don't know if you know the um, rewards program or the, yeah. the app, I think it's kind of a big thing. They kind of promotes you to use it more. So I think I'm going to go with this one. Okay. Okay.
um, discovered with the Youth Schools for Chicago in there. And you heard me talk about music, yelling at someone. I met him there. Yes, he's an older guy. And he started talking to me. He's like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. So I'm going to go in. I'm like, that's what a cool cool book. Or cool books. Well, they call it cool books. You say, oh, no. Well, it's very good. Like, I get a specialty drink, like a pumpkin spice latte or something like that. I would rather go through the drive through just because they're going to be trying to get you out of there faster. But I usually just get her coffee, so it's really quick either way. But so, I get it not really. And plus, now it's always had drive throughs. So, like the ones on like, the train stations and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, it just depends where you are. Like, I'm from the suburbs, so I'll usually go through the driveway on the suburbs. But in the city, I get that all the time in the loop. So I'll just go inside. So there's no drive through. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, I'd rather go through the drive through driving. But <laughs> <It's hard. laughs> yeah. right. But like my apartment building does this thing where like I, I think it's like you can order it through like our app in our apartment building, but like you can literally like put in that you want Starbucks and the doorman goes and gets it for you. Like you you put money in it. And then it's waiting there, so like I try to do that. But sometimes like it takes too long. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I usually go in, because like she said, like I go in like for hours. It's not just like I go get a cup of coffee. That's, that's the only time I ever go to Starbucks is when I have to study. No, okay. If I'm in a car, I'm definitely gonna use the drive through Like they make or 
like something would be further from Starbucks because it's just like so many different times. Um, I feel like specialty drinks are always better at Starbucks, but like actual <coughs> coffee, like you can find good coffee at like other places. But I feel like um, Starbucks is like a destination. Like I was thinking about it. And like for my work, or like if we have to like meet up and talk about something, it's like, oh, let's meet at Starbucks. Like it's almost like, <laughs> like you have to meet there. Like you're not gonna meet at like Pete's Coffee. Like do you know what I mean? No, you don't. Know right. <laughs> like, oh no, that's like not okay. Do you know what I mean? So it's like a destination place. Like that's great. Or like my friend, like we always meet back there and do homework together, and it's always like let's meet at Starbucks. Like it's never anywhere else. <laughs> um. I like, I live in Wicker Park and there's a coffee shop, like the town shoes, they have a coffee shop and I really like that. Um, Cause I have dogs and the dog sitters so I feel my dog eat while I do my homework, like what's going on in um, But like the only Starbucks that I prefer, but, like place wise is the one on Rush, like in the Gold Coast, cause they have a milk and things, so you can like sit outside and most, you know, and most Starbucks aren't like that. I feel like they're all pretty standard of like how they look and that one's like different than the rest. So that's the only time I prefer that one. I just think of business people, silence. 
I think it's more prestigious, like nobody wants to be walking around with McDonald's coffee cup. <laughs> um, yeah, it's true. Like yeah. people aren't gonna like the strongest sleep on my McDonald's. <laughs> right. Like, but okay. Okay. I have to like McDonald's iced coffee is like on the real street. Yeah. Yeah. Well now you gotta try it. It's definitely a problem for It's so good. It's pretty good. It's so good. Okay, but yeah, like that's the thing is nobody wants to be like walking around with it.
options when I can find it? It's pretty much all options now. Yeah. I used to buy like uh, campfire mochas from them. They're really good. It tastes like s'mores. But at, at Starbucks, all I've really got is Pike's Place, which is just medium roast drip coffee. And then if I dunk it, I just get regular roast coffee. Too. Do you have to say I'm going to get Starbucks is out of my range. Oh, price range? Yeah. So I would just say I'm not sure. I'm a coffee girl. I would just drink it to survive my day. <laughs> That's your yeah. Just have a Just to get have some caffeine in my life. And Duncan, I always get nice coffee. And I feel like it's always gross. <laughs> I know. It's just one. And then, yeah, it's like, no, okay. But at Starbucks, I get an ice cream macchiato. Or uh, now I get pumpkin spice lattes. And I like the caramel spice thing too. In Starbucks, they use like different coffee for iced coffee, which is why I think it's better. Yeah, no, it's not just like good. old hot coffee over ice. It's, it's just like, not like, yeah, like, um, at all. Um, at Duncan, I get regular coffee with French vanilla, three cream, two sugar, every time. Um, and then, and I don't complain if they don't get two sugars. Um, <laughs> but you can tell. No. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then Starbucks, I actually like get a different drink every time I'm there because I've been there a million times and I'm still like, oh my god, I'm so wrong on my menu, I don't know what I'm going to get. So I get, I get a different drink every time I'm there. Um, with Dunkin' Donuts, I always get iced coffee, that's the only thing I would buy from them. Coffee buns, um, snacks that I wear, it doesn't taste good because I'm really thirsty or something. Or it's cheap. Like a dollar at a certain hour. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then from Starbucks, I would literally try anything just about, but mostly my go to drink is white chocolate mocha or um, caramel macchiato. I thought I read more coffee from Starbucks. This is very good. It's very good. Starbucks, or Oh, those are so good. Yeah, I usually, I don't usually get um, coffee from the I kind of like, I'm a big iced coffee drinker. Like they said, like, I kind of like when I get their iced coffee, like the like, syrup and like, the sugar sits at the bottom. And mm -hmm. so when you drink it, you get like a chunk of sugar in your mouth. It's like Starbucks, like it's like all mixed together, so it takes so much better. But Starbucks, they do get like a lot of I don't think I ever actually bought a drink from Dunkin' Donuts. You should just say donuts. But Starbucks looks like a cash and see the name of the Pumpkin Raspberry. Yeah, I can't remember the last time I got a coffee from Dunkin' Donuts. It probably was something like an iced coffee. I don't remember. Yeah. Lump of sugar. You really like the sugar? Yeah. 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 Starbucks, definitely, I like, I like to have the, um, the ice cream macchiato with soy. I did like the hazelnut uh, uh, ice macchiato, but they just continued it. I was just going to say. Let's get trying to get the hazelnut. Now we got two more questions to bear with me. Uh, when you guys go to Dr. Donuts or Starbucks with kids or a major coffee plant, how do you guys, um, and food and coffee, and if so, what do we get with it? Oh, I always get a cheese danish when I go to Starbucks. I mean, if I go to Panera or Cheeseburger, I'll get their, their tea there, and then I'll probably get a sandwich or a snack. <coughs> but yeah, you can get a food. <coughs> when I get my uh, green tea, with <coughs> my tea, I can get a banana and a little bit of vanilla. But they're too expensive. I'm not paying six dollars for a sandwich that I could have made at home. Like <laughs> not six dollars for a corner. That's just like kind of I guess I'll peanut butter and jelly sandwich at Starbucks the other day for like six ninety five. She came with like half a slice. I'm kidding. So usually if I want to eat my coffee and go to McDonald's, that's where the breakfast is at. Oh, yeah. Um, 
I usually, when I go to Starbucks, I don't eat anything there. I just think it's super expensive when I eat it. And if I go to a coffee shop, I'll probably get a sandwich. Yeah. Yeah. And if I go to a coffee shop, I'll probably get a sandwich. Like, even though I know I can make it at home, but I think um, local coffees kind of taste like home if you're in the right one. So, I will get just a sandwich. Um, Starbucks. I'll get like the tomato mozzarella panini thing, it's so good. Or I'll get the Greek yogurt with honey. Or a cake pop. And now the pumpkin cheesecake muffin. So. <laughs> well, like, I feel like it, I, I like it because it's convenient. Like you can get everything at once. Like if you're on the go. No, it's not enough variety. Yeah, there's not enough variety. Yeah, I feel like it's like they just need more actual food. Yeah. Like, not like, not like, I don't know what type of food. Like, like, I don't want to see like pasta there or something, but like I want to see something. You should not try some pasta for a sandwich. It should be a bigger sandwich. Like, I still insulted they charge you $6. Dollars. The tomato mozzarella one is like pretty big. It's five big. Yeah. Like all the sugar that has water for coffee you get like I don't even 
and older, maybe you could, but it sounds all really sugary. So, yeah. I would right. say, so. I think it's not a healthy level of options. Yeah, great. Right. Because if they don't have really, truly healthy options, and then those of us that go, Nine minutes and it's in the